Vital signs by Little Things Matter. Hand washing is required when hands are visibly soiled, after toileting and before eating. Most other times, alcohol-based rub is the preferred hand hygiene method. To ensure hands are washed thoroughly, make sure all skin surfaces are accessible and that all cuts and abrasions are well covered. You will also need to ensure nails are short and clean. Please follow the instructions in this video. A hand wash will remove transient microorganisms only, whereas alcohol rub will destroy transient microorganisms as well as reducing resident microorganisms. Alcohol hand rub should be used before and after every patient contact, between each patient's care activities, before and after touching equipment in the patient's bed zone, before and after glove use, and before and after contact with inanimate objects that are potentially contaminated, for example pens and charts. Check the ear for any wax in, so that you may not get a wrong reading. Cover the probe tip with a new probe cover. Gently place the covered probe tip in the person's ear canal. Do not force it in and do not occlude the canal. Activate the device by pressing the button behind it. Read the temperature in 2 to 3 seconds. Position patient seated or lying in bed. Position the sphygmomanometer within 1 meter of the patient at eye level. Arm at heart level, supported by a pillow, elbow relaxed, palpate brachial artery, place calf. Inflate and palpate for pulse ob obliteration to get estimate systolic BP. Deflate, place the stoscope. Inflate 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury above estimated systolic BP. Deflate the calf at a rate of 2 to 3 millimeters per second. Record the systolic BP to the nearest 2 mm when a regular tapping sound is heard, Korotkov sound phase 1. Record the diastolic BP to the nearest 2 mm when the sound disappears, Korotkov sound phase 5. Ask the patient to sit or lie in a relaxed position. Place the pads of your first two fingers into the groove below the radius. Lightly press against the skin until you feel the pulse wave. Once you have found a regular rhythm, count each pulsation for 30 seconds. You will times this by two once finished to ascertain the beats per minute. If the pulse is irregular, continue to count for a full 60 se seconds. You should assess the pulse for rate, rhythm and strength. Document your observations. Respirations. Once you have taken the pulse, continue to hold the patient's wrist while counting the rise and fall of their chest. Respirations. Each complete inspiration and expiration is one respiration. You should count for a full 30 seconds and then times this by two to find out respirations per minute. Document your observations.